Hi, this is Imad Al Alam, Biomed Researches, Middle East Medical Information Center and Directory, Epilepsy Awareness Program Founder and Publisher. I do welcome you to our second episode of Understanding EEG Part Two. In the last episode, we talked about the human brain, the mechanism, the function, the nervous system, the neurons, the transmission methods, and in this video, we will concentrate more on the human brain waves. What are the human brain waves? which usually appears during the EEG exam or during the EEG test. So let us start our presentation. Brain waves are generated by the building blocks of your brain. The individual cells called neurons communicate with each other by electrical changes. We can actually see these electrical changes in the form of brain waves as shown on the electroencephalogram or EEG test. Brain waves are measured in cycles per second or hertz is the short form for that. We also talk about the frequency of the brain wave activity. The lower the number of frequency or the hertz, the slower the brain activity or the slower the frequency of the activity. Researchers in 1930s and 40s Researchers in 1930s and 40s identified several different types of brain waves. Traditionally, these fall into four types, which we will talk about it later on. Our human brain is an electrochemical organ which, with generated waves, which proves that human beings never switch off their minds. And this is a figure of the human brain, which we have explained in detail in our last episode. And these are the lobes of the brain. This is the frontal. This is first of all the front. This is the back. This is the frontal lobe. This is the parietal lobe. This is the occipital lobe. This is the temporal lobe. This is our cerebellum. This is our brain stem and this is the spinal cord. Researchers have speculated that a fully functioning brain can generate as much as 10 watts of electrical power. And as I said, this is uh, only a speculation. There are three levels of arousals. The first level is called sleeping. The second one is relaxing. The third one is action. In sleeping arousal, large slow waves are seen. In relaxing, the waves become faster. But in action, dense EEG pattern is seen and is characterized by low voltage and high frequency producing fast waves. So these are example of the three arousals. This is the sleeping. And you can see here, during the sleeping, slow waves are large, and it easily can be recognized. So during the sleeping, we will have a low frequency and high amplitude. During the relaxing, the waves become faster, as you can notice here. And during the action, the waves become very fast which means that the frequency is becoming high and amplitude is becoming low. Electrical activity emanating from the brain is, is displayed in the form of brain waves. There are four categories of these brain waves ranging from the most activity to the least activity. So in order of frequency, brain waves can be classified as of the following. This is the first type of brain wave, which is called beta brain waves and it ranges from 14 to 30 hertz per second and by the way when i'm talking here i'm talking by uh, when i'm talking about uh, the, the hertz i'm talking per second so i mean uh, beta brain waves will range from 14 to 30 hertz per second can be noticed on alert and working and you can see the shape of beta wave it is associated with alternance concentration and learning higher levels associated with anxiety, fear, and stress. The second type of brain waves are called alpha brain waves, and it ranges from 18 to 13.9 hertz, and it can be noticed in relaxed and reflective. It is associated with relaxing and well-being, sober learning, light trance, and increased serotonin production, and there is one point I really want to, note, uh, to, to, to bring your notice about, is that you might have seen the frequencies of these brain waves with different values, like, for example, some of them consider it from 13 to 25 or from 13 
to 30 hertz for the beta brain wave some of them consider it for the alpha from 8 to 13 the same thing applies to the beta theta they consider it from 8 to 4 hertz or sorry from 4 to 8 hertz and the same thing for delta so the values have not been completely fixed on specific values such as beta will be from 14 to 30 no, there are some people who say and some researchers who say that beta is from for example 15 to 30 or 15 to 25 the same applies to the remaining but generally this is the frequency of the brain waves the third type of brain wave is the theta brain wave which ranges from 4 to 7.9 hertz and it can be noticed in drowsy it can be noticed also during the REM sleep dreaming sleep REM sleep is the dreaming sleep associated with incre increased learning and memory creativity deep mediation allows access to the unconscious the fourth type of the brain waves is called the delta brain wave and it ranges from 1 to 3.9 hertz and it can be seen on sleep and dreaming present during dreamless sleep the deepest phase of the sleep so delta waves as we can see here is the waves which have which have the highest amplitude and the lowest frequency after that comes the theta wave which is still I mean it has a high amplitude and lower frequency but still it is higher than the delta wave then the frequency starts to increase and as we can see it here on the on the alpha uh, wave which is ranging as I said from 8 to 13 0.9 Hertz the frequency increases and the amplitude decreases the wave where the amplitude becomes the lowest and the frequency becomes the highest is called the beta wave there is also gamma wave where, where scientists talk up, uh, about which is from about 30 to 20 to 55 or to 60 but we will not concentrate about it this time we'll just talk about the four types of the brain waves generated seen during the EEG exam or test if we will talk in more details about these brain waves you can see here one thing the, the the distance between these two lines is the one second distance and when we say that for example this is a theta wave or this is an alpha wave we calculate the waves 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so this is comes on the alpha category so this is the way we calculate it and the distance between these two lines is one second you can see here I have uh, made it on a diagram so that it can be understood easily here this is the delta wave one two three up to four waves this is the delta per second the theta increases up to eight and the alpha increases up to 14 and the beta from 14 onwards up to 30 hertz so the beta waves abbreviated with this simple ranges from 14 to 30 cycles a second it represents arousal and has characteristics of a strongly engaged mind a person in active conversation would be in the beta a person making a speech or a teacher or a talk show host would be all in beta these beta waves are of relatively low amplitude and are the fastest of the four different brain waves so as you can see here the amplitude of the wave is low but the frequency is high so it's the fastest among all these brain waves in other words we can say beta waves are having low voltage and high frequency alpha waves abbreviated with this simple ranges from frequency of 88 to 13 hertz it represents non arousal meanwhile we can see the arousal in the beta wave but for the alpha wave it represents the non arousal it is slower than the beta waves and higher in amplitude it occurs when a person is relaxed but alert during this state a person is awake but resting a person who has completed a task and sit down to rest is often in an alpha state a person who takes a break from a conference and whatever walks in the garden is also in the alpha state 
so you can see this is the alpha state it is from 8 to 13 hertz and if we count this between these two lines which means one second we will know that this is an alpha wave the third type of waves is called the theta wave and it's abbreviated with this symbol it ranges from 47 hertz the, it is typically having a greater amplitude and slower frequency so it's the opposite if you look at the theta wave you can see the amplitude is increasing here but the frequency is decreasing here and it ranges from 4 to 7 hertz it is associated with sleep deep relaxation and visualization a person on a daydream is often on a theta brainwave state so the last one of brain waves is called the delta brain wave and this is the symbol of the delta brain wave and it ranges from below 4 hertz and it is considered with the greatest amplitude and slowest frequency so uh, this is our delta brain wave you can see the amplitude have increased from theta to delta the amplitude is increasing but the frequency is decreasing so the number of waves or frequency has decreased from the fastest as we can see in the beta to the lowest as we can see on the delta but on the opposite we can see that the the highest amplitude can be seen on the delta wave and the lowest amplitude can be seen on the beta wave delta waves occurs during sleep and never go down to zero why they never go down to zero because if they go down to zero this will indicate a brain death state a brain death status so i mean it does not go to zero at all but dreamless sleep would take you down to the lowest frequency typically two to three hertz or three cycles per second so now let us look like look at an eeg recording and how the brain waves are displayed in the recording we will not go in details into this topic now as it will be the subject of the next episode I will just give you a short idea about it and we can see how the brain waves acquired by the amplifier connected to an EEG machine is displayed on the screen this is an example of an EEG recording as we see here these are the brain waves and as well these are the labels of the montage where each alphabet and number reflects the side, the hemispheric, the hemispheric side of the brain and the lobes of the brain, like for example, this is from this label is from FP1 to F3, FP1 is frontopolar 1 to F3 to frontal 3, and this is from frontal 3 to central 3, this is from central 3 to parietal 3, this is from parietal 3 to occipital 1, and so on. So the, the odd numbers, as we talked about earlier reflects to the left side of the brain the even numbers is associated with the right side of the brain the first alphabet reflects to the brain lobe this is an EEG recording acquired and we can see here I'm, I'm just moving it this is the annotations and some of them includes eye blinking and this is an example of a Caesar as you can see here this is an example of a Caesar in the brain and you can see the shape of the brain waves have changed from a state of almost uh, from a state of a, a simple line I mean which has low amplitude and high frequencies to a state of high amplitudes as we can see here so the patient in this instance was having a seizure I will talk more in details about seizure epilepsy and uh, the characteristics the types on our next episodes of understanding EEG and you can see the patient still on the seizure state and it seems as a generalized one you can see the the patient is starting to rest after the seizure but still there are some artifacts and there are some abnormal waves so this is an example of an EEG exa recorded 
This is an example of an EEG recorded using an electroencephalogram or EEG machine or unit, which we will talk about more further and in details in our next episodes. So thank you for being a good listener. Stay tuned. We will publish more new videos on our series Understanding EEG soon.